Whoa. Whoa. Power line just blew. Wow. Hello, this is Scott from Texas Prepper Projects, and I had a situation this week. So some of you know I live in Pflugerville, which is just north of Austin, Texas, and we had a storm this week, and during the storm, the uh, I had a power line get knocked out down the street from me. So my power went out at 5 o'clock in the morning and came back at about 11.30 in the afternoon. So this gave me a chance to test out my battery pack and on my chest freezer and on my refrigerator. And it all worked out really well. Um, I'm very pleased. I learned a couple things. So I actually shot some video during the event. So I'm going to play that now so you can kind of see what happened um, as the event was unfolding. And then I'll come back afterwards and unpack uh, and kind of explain a little more about what was going on, what I saw, what I learned, and what I'm, things I'm going to tweak uh, in the future. Here we go. It is 7.50. And my power has been out since 5. Outside temperature, inside temperature, chest freezer, home refrigerator freezer. So I'm a little disappointed that my chest freezer heated up that fast. It's only been two and a half hours, but it's good to know now. Here's my refrigerator. And there's my chest freezer. And here is my 100 amp hour, 24 volt, so it's two in series to my 1000 watt inverter. And it's drawing 200, I know you can't see that because of the glare. It's drawing, it's 25 volts. 220 watts 220 watts while running now there was a surge of like 800 watts when the freezer kicked on but now that it's running 220 watts to run both so we'll see how long it takes them to cool down it is nine o'clock and i am still without power <clears throat> chest freezer home refrigerator so I am down to where it should be now. So it took a little over an hour to get down to temp. And the chest freezer has now shut off because my system is now pulling 100 watts, which is just the refrigerator. 180 watts. Yep, refrigerator still going. 180 watts on 24 volts is 11 amps, which means that my big battery system would run for at least eight hours without no, with no solar. Pretty cool. Feeling good. So let's talk a little bit more about my battery pack. So this is two 100 amp hour Mighty Max AGM batteries, and I have them in series, so it's running 24 volts. This is a Gandel 1200 watt pure sign inverter. Uh, it's actually significantly bigger than I needed, but it was about $200. Um, and I bought this after I learned about the startup surge on my chest freezer. What I really like about this is this voltmeter or this meter that shows input voltage, output, and output wattage, and output kilowatt, which I don't really care about. But I can monitor in real time what my loads are without using an external kilowatt or something like that. I didn't realize that this had that and it was really neat to be able to watch the refrigerator cycle on and off. This is on a metal cart that I had a friend weld for me because these batteries weigh 65 pounds a piece. 
Uh, so it's not real easy to move this thing around, but I can roll it and manage it reasonably well enough. Uh, I have got a solar charge controller here on the front. This is obviously a rich solar. Uh, Will Prowse likes them. I've got a little quick connect for my solar panels. And I just added this USB uh, charger. Um, I have tested it. It does work on 24 volts, so that's great. Some of them do not. And um, I'm pretty happy with how that uh, how that all worked out. Didn't need the solar because power is only out for a couple of hours, but uh, this worked how I wanted it. There's my Arctic King five cubic foot chest freezer I got on Facebook Messenger, but they're at Home Depot, about $150 brand new. So things that I learned was that I didn't have, I have extension cords, but they were outside of my shed. So I had to go run outside and go get them. Um, and I didn't have, I just didn't have kind of the right setup. Obviously my chest freezer is pretty close to where I keep my battery. So I used a short extension cord for that. And then you used my longer one to get into the kitchen, which is just through that door to get to the refrigerator. And then at one point, I pulled out another extension cord and plugged in my cable modem to see if I still had internet access, which uh, I did. It was just really slow. So I just want to kind of rethink my power cord situation a little bit. Uh, I actually just got back from Home Depot uh, working on my next project. And... I found this 18 inch LED strip light for $12 and it draws five watts. So I'm really, really happy with that. I think I'm going to, I think I'm gonna Velcro that thing right there, right next to this setup. So that way I can just flip that switch and be able to kind of see what I'm doing. Cause I'm obviously in the garage and it was really dark in here, you know, at five o'clock in the morning when I pulled this all out and started to power it all up. So um, did it by flashlight, not the end of the world, but having a hands-free lantern plugged in would have just made my life a little bit easier. So overall feeling pretty good. I'm, uh, I need to plug in my solar systems and uh, make an extension cord. All those parts should be in today, but um, I'm, I'm, happy with how this uh how this all worked out on tuesday wednesday so here we go oh i'm sorry quick side note that's the ac charger since this is in the garage i don't have the solar uh set up all the time obviously so there's the master breaker and then this is a little quick connect this is an anderson power pole which is what ham radio operators use so i can plug in my charger and keep it topped up. I come out here every couple of weeks and plug it in because the batteries will self-discharge. So I really like this style of breaker. I use this as both a breaker and as a master power switch. So I had the thing completely and totally disconnected um, so I don't have any parasitic draw. Flip it on. Flip on my inverter. I'm at 26 volts because we're fully charged. And boom. Let's see. Output wattage is so low, it doesn't even register on this meter. That's amazing. So if you have a Jackery or any other little portable battery thing, highly recommend this from Home Depot for $12. Really happy. There we are. See ya. One of the other devices I finally got to play around with a little bit is this $10 USB LED bulb. And this thing is just amazing for 10 bucks. I'm so impressed with this. Down. It comes with this little hook. Uh, it's designed to be hung from the center ring of a tent. I added this little S beaner clip because I happen to have one laying around. And what I do is I will clip it onto my mini blinds, 
or I will put it on the chain of the ceiling fan in my bedroom to hang up. So I'll have, this is an Ankler 10,000 milliamp USB battery. Everyone should own one of these. If you own a cell phone, you should own one of these. I've seen them on sale lately for like $15. They're normally like 25 ish. So I got me plugged in, turn that on, and boom. And this sucker is surprisingly bright for $10. I'm so, so impressed with that for $10. So pick one of those up. And if you have any sort of battery pack, they're very low draw, cords fairly long. Get yourself a USB battery pack. They're so convenient. Good way to keep things topped up easily without pulling out your big batteries. So, really happy.